He wakes in a strange room full of Brintulia, and a mist of lavender like hue shrouds him. He is no longer home, and his vision still remains clouded. As calm as he felt, uncertainty and discomfort still fills his body. He internalizes the pain and questions if he is supposed to feel like this, like a phantom anxiety with no cause. A whisper is heard in his ear, which brings him to attention. He turns to a strange figure on his left who stares down at him, with his hand held onto his forehead. Suddenly, Tyrant is able to regain consciousness and discovers it was the woman he needed. At long last, he smiles. A tear sheds from his eye. He has found what he was looking for. She greets herself as Lady Fate, next in line to the Velveta Colony's hopeful new god to adventure through the Vegala system. She was a protector, rather delicate for her kind, but their whimsical science was unlike the Crimson Colony. They specialized in defenses built for planets much weaker than ours. It turns out Lady Fate was but thrilled to hear there was a rebellion forming against the deities, which surprised Tyrant. Surely, it can't be so easy to be persuaded. The Velveta colony are known for their stoic shells, but he was love-stricken nonetheless. This was a feeling unfelt for what seemed like a lifetime. They decide to form an alliance together and plan to crumble the deities down. One common goal, infiltrate their kingdom's castle walls, storm the brigade, and enter the palace's most treasured and tight-locked fortitude, holding the legendary emblem of archival, the Iris. What else are the deities hiding? How many lies have they given to their own people? All felt so lost, but soon was to be found once again.